So this is a really great diagram of a brachycephalic uh, dog. And I just wanted to share with you a few of the points here so you can see in graphical form exactly what BAS is. So the main component of it is a shortened schnoz here, compacting all the soft tissues of the sinuses into the front of the nose. The second main component is this really long elongated soft palate which can dip into the larynx and the third component can be laryngeal collapse here. So I'm going to talk to you about these three components and what we do at Southern Cross Vet differently to correct them. So to start with the most important part, the soft palate here. So best way to think about it is the roof of your mouth that you can feel inside your, your mouth, that hard part is called the hard palate and it extends as something called the soft palate, which is this fleshy sort of material, very important structure to help dogs swallow and not inhale their food properly. Um, and it close over, closes over when they breathe in so that the food uh, does not go down into the windpipes, very important. But sometimes in these brachy dogs, as we've bred them over generations to have shorter and shorter schnozzes, the soft palate has remained just as long. And so a normal dog soft palate would end about here. What you're seeing in brachies is a much longer soft palate that dangles into the larynx here, causing obstruction. So that's the kind of sound that you can hear when they're snoring, that snortling sound that we often think is cute or characteristic for a Frenchie or Bulldog, but it's not. It's actually the soft palate fluttering here, vibrating, causing an obstruction in the larynx. Um, what's the big deal with that, you might ask? Well, ongoing obstruction means that the dogs need to take deeper and deeper breaths with more force, and kind of like when you're drinking a McDonald's thick shake, for example, if you've got a small straw and you're, you're trying to suck in the milkshake with a lot of force, the straw can collapse. So too is the same thing with our brackies here. So the windpipe, you can think of like that straw, uh, drinking the milkshake and if you're having to suck and move air into your lungs with more and more force because this soft palate is blocking half of it blocking the opening of the straw if you like then you can have a tendency for this larynx to actually collapse inwards once you've got laryngeal collapse here there's very little you can do about it surgically so that's what you really want to avoid by shortening the soft palate the other part or bottleneck in brachycephalic airway surgery that we correct at Southern Cross Vet is the nostrils. So the nostrils up here, they can be very slit-like and not open holes and causes more resistance to airflow leading to the same thing. Um, more resistance here leads to more resistance here and could lead to laryngeal collapse. So by opening up the airways, you allow more airflow through by getting rid of the excess length of the soft palate, you're eliminating the second bottleneck there. Now, the trouble is, a lot of the time when we did this surgery previously, the procedure was quite invasive actually. We'd have to clamp on the soft palate at about this level here, where the line is, cut it off. There'd be a lot of bleeding at this time. We'd place maybe 15 to 20 absorbable suture materials there. Uh, but the trouble with that is it leads to irritation at the back of the throat, uh, a lot of swelling, hemorrhage, and most of the time we'd send these patients in the immediate post-op period to a 24-hour monitoring facility just in case that obstruct. Some of them would obstruct afterwards, um, needing uh, what's called a tracheostomy tube, which is a hole put just at the base of the larynx because this whole pharyngeal area is so swollen post-op because of the traumatic way that we used to do it, it was really quite risky. But at Southern Cross Vet, you might have read in the newspapers recently, we've pioneered a new technique using a human surgical device called the Esculate Cayman that seals the XF soft palate there without any clamping, zero bleeding, no bruising, no suture material. Cuts down the operation time by about 45 minutes to 12 to 15 seconds and absolutely no need to go to the emergency for monitoring in 99% of our cases. So 
because of the lack of invasiveness of this procedure, we're seeing us do the BAS corrective surgery even preventatively on dogs to avoid them having to develop brachycephalic airway syndrome. So it's often a paradigm shift for owners with these dogs. Now they're able to think, well, at the time of desexing, why not correct the anatomical abnormalities so that they don't develop this syndrome needing more urgent surgery down the track? So thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to put something a bit more educational together for you and watch out on our Facebook and Instagram YouTube channels as well for more information about these really cool procedures.